Hi, my name is Isabel Ross from Vail, Arizona, and I worked with Dr. Vanessa Buzzard on our project studying the impacts of green infrastructure on carbon cycling. Essentially, green infrastructure redirects more water into soils, which affects multiple soil properties, including moisture and temperature. This, in turn, impacts microbial communities found in the soil. This is important because soils contain the largest supply of carbon in the world. Altering the frequency and quantity of water in soils could have an unknown impacts on the carbon cycle, which could impact climate change. The main question we wanted to answer was how does the introduction of water harvesting practices impact the carbon cycle via shifts in microbial community composition and function? To conduct this study, a GI system was developed in a residential area in Tucson, Arizona, with four basins, each receiving a different frequency of water from a different source. We identified the microbes present in each of these basins using a program called FAPROTAX and then linked these identified microbes to specific functions they've been proven to perform. We found changes in composition and function between each of our treatments shown in these top two graphs. I focused on two functions key for decomposition. Chitinolysis is the breakdown of chitin, a key component of fungal cell walls and exoskeletons. And I found that this increases with water availability which increases access to certain compounds found within the cell. Similarly, cellulolysis is the breakdown of cellulose, a key component of cell walls, and this also increases with water availability, increasing access to small polysaccharides and glucose units. Because these functions are so important for carbon cycling, this indicates that GI does impact the carbon cycle. These results also indicate that GI may increase availability of key nutrients found in cell walls and exoskeletons, which supports growth and increases diversity. Future research should assess if these changes lead to higher soil respiration of greenhouse gases, as well as measuring diversity. Thank you.